Welcome to your 2024 Damage Restoration Internet Marketing Roadmap. This plan is going to help you elevate your brand and dominate your competition. My name is Sean McMean with Vinnie Mac Restoration Marketing. So what we're going to cover in this webinar is an introduction, common issues, three-step process, and what works in 2024, which I'm most excited about is what to communicate with you, what's really going to be working and, and uh, moving the needle in 2024. And then we're going to go through a, pro um, a process of setting goals and projects. Okay. So who am I? My passion for the damage restoration industry stems from wanting to make a difference, honestly, when I can connect business owners with homeowners that are experiencing one of the worst disasters that they've ever have, had in their life, me connecting with those with homeowners with those type of people is a passion of mine because I've been through that. I had a house that flooded and I knew that it was it was difficult to find somebody to help me, uh, but when I did, they were able to restore our home back to normal. And so I know what it's like to be on the homeowner side. And so I've been in this industry for a number of years and I have a whole team that helps me. Um, I'm the founder of Vinnie Mac Restoration Marketing. We were founded in 2017. And I have over 17 years of experience in the marketing industry itself. And I've developed, you know, marketing strategies for hundreds of clients and, over the years. And I actually wrote a book about internet marketing for the restoration contractors. And so far over the last six years, we've worked with over 100 clients and we've generated over $115 million in revenue. And that's growing every single day. My passion also in the industry has has brought me to doing webinars like this, but also uh, doing a podcast called Restoration Marketing Secrets, which is, it's on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. And I also, again, wrote the book on internet marketing for restoration contractors, how to get more water, mold, fire, environmental, home remodeling, and even roofing jobs for your restoration business. So now, if you stay to the end of this webinar, you're going to get some resources. I'm happy to give you a free copy of my book. You can buy it on Amazon if you want or Kindle, but I'm going to give you a free copy of that if you stay at the end of the webinar. And I'm going to give you three additional resources that are extremely helpful to help your business grow in internet marketing uh, in, in uh, with internet marketing in 2024. There's going to be a 14 key points to check uh, for your business. There's also going to be a keyword list of all the keywords that we use for different services and then an advanced SEO on page strategies uh, tips sheet that I'm going to give you. And an added bonus that I don't even have listed here is a calculator that's going to help you calculate what you need to invest um, in your all of your marketing efforts in order to generate your revenue goals. So I'm going to share all those with you at the end. Now, I do need some I do need your attention over the next 30 minutes. So please turn off your cell phone, turn off your Facebook um, and if you, if, I, if you focus in for the next 30 minutes here, it's going to be well worth your time. So please pay attention, um, and I'm looking forward to you getting a lot out of this. So I just want to let you know that I have helped and my team have helped. We've helped over 100 com companies. This is just a sampling of those companies. And so I have the track record, and I want to share that information with you, what we're focused on for our clients in 2024 so that you can either take advantage of doing it yourself or maybe you want to talk with us about maybe working with us. But there's not a prerequisite to that. Um, you can take what you've learned on this webinar and set your goals, take action, and you're going to you're going to grow your business. So my goal in 2024 is to help double the sales of 50 damage restoration contractors using internet marketing. I'm hoping that is going to be you. By following our guide here, you're going to be able to get there if you take action. So some of the common marketing issues we see in the home service industry, specifically water damage, damage restoration, roofing, and home remodeling, is there's tons of competition in your local area. There's an extreme cost to getting the phone to ring, you know, and, and that phone... That phone is what you want. You want the phone to ring, right? But it's expensive to do that. And sometimes you're just lost because you have up and down results each and every month. And you're like, ah, I don't know what to try. And I haven't, I don't have a proven process to get results. And so these are some of the common marketing issues that we see in the industry. And as you can see there from that roadmap, that's a three, three roundabouts that doesn't make it right. 
about, I guess, I don't know. Um, but the, you know, I'm laughing, but it's, it's, it's a very serious issue that we're seeing. And so the harsh reality is that 10% of the restoration companies out there are getting 90% of the revenue and jobs. And mainly that's because 90% of the companies out there don't have or very little marketing strategy in place. They either don't have one or they have a very, very small amount of, of strategy in place in order to reach homeowners and businesses that need your help. And so what we tend to see is people in a couple different buckets here. And so you can kind of look at this graph here. Um, and at the, the left-hand side, you'll see you'll get more jobs as you go up in one area. And at the bottom, you'll see your brand recognition. And so what we see is that either you're, you're, you're getting some jobs and you're paying per lead for those jobs and you're paying a lot of money. Or on the flip side, on the, on the bottom, so that was the top left, on the bottom right, you're getting some referrals, but those are hit and miss up and down all over the place. And even worse yet, we see companies that no one knows about you or about your company, right? And so you're not getting jobs, you don't have a brand, you're not getting referrals. And really where you want to be is in that top right quarter corner there. Your goal is become the best known company in your area. And I want to help you do that. Okay. You're going to be able to get more jobs. You'll have brand recognition. And that's really where you want to be is in that top section. I hope we would all agree that that's where we're striving for. Now to get consistent results, you need to have a proven system. So I like to always say you never want to invest a dollar to get a dollar back. That's not going to get you anywhere. So if you're investing a dollar and you're not charging enough for your jobs, that's a problem, right? If you're investing a dollar and you're not getting anything out of it, that's clearly a problem. Ultimately, you want to invest a dollar, you want to get 10 back, you want to get five back, you want to get 20 back, right? And that's the goal that we're all in, the, in, a, in this for a business and for some proper profitability and sustainability, freedom, and flexibility for your lifestyle. And so what you need to have is a plan. So I'm going to give you our exact plan that we use. It's a three-step plan. Um, step one is attracting more clients. So how do you attract more clients? Really, the goal here is you need to have a landing page for your website. You need to have an online presence. Just like you have your trucks, just like you have your um, equipment and your team to help you, you need to have a presence online. And I'm, I'm telling you this just not because I'm in the industry of internet marketing, but because people will search for solutions online. Mostly they go to Google and they need to have need to be able to find your company. And if you if you can't be found, you're invisible. You're in that bottom left quarter that I talked about before. And that's not where we want to be. So to get to that top right corner, we need to have a website. We need to have paid ads running. We need to have a Google, Google Maps. We need to have a client reviews coming in. If you're not getting jobs, it's difficult to get client reviews. But ultimately, um, you need to have, be doing some local SEO. You need to have a referral partners, such as plumbers. You need to have um, homeowners that are referring jobs to you. And you need to have a social media presence online. And so these are all the things that I recommend for attracting um, clients. Now, there's many things here, and so we're going to talk in the future about how you, if you're not doing any of these things, how you can plan and, and how you can get to where you want to be. The next part of this, this the, the three-step process is step two, which is capturing those leads. How do you capture those leads and how do you track your return on investment? So if you have a website and landing page, are you using tracking numbers for one for the website, one for your paid ads? one for your Google Maps, so you can understand where those phone calls are coming in. Because if you have one single number for all of your uh, marketing resources, then you have no idea. You, you're leaving it up to the consumer to, to understand where they're coming from, and you wanna be able to track your ROI, right? So you need to have contact forms on your website, contact forms that when somebody submits that, it's gonna call your main number within 30 seconds, and you're going to be talking to that person on the phone um, because it's going to read back what they submitted on the form. You're going to press one and you're going to connect with them. And within 30 seconds, you're already talking to the homeowner. You don't have to go to your email. You don't have to wait for the email. You don't have to dial the number. You don't have to do any of that. So that's, that's what's called form to call automation. Highly recommend that. 
you need to be focused on mobile only, call only ads too. So when somebody has a problem, right, they're gonna be searching on their phone typically. They're not gonna sit down at a desktop computer and do a bunch of research for, for that, especially if it's an emergency. You need to have website chat on your website um, or landing pages. Website chat allows somebody another mechanism of them contacting you, right? You've got forms, you've got website chat, you got a phone number. You also need to be accepting social media messages. So are you getting an alert when you get a Facebook message? That is extremely important. Third step in this is engaging with clients. How do you engage with clients? You answer the phone quickly and be helpful on the phone, right? But ultimately you wanna get their address, you wanna get their phone number, and you wanna get out there and give them an estimate. You wanna have an automated text follow-up when that phone call ends. Hey, is there anything we missed on that phone call? I see about 40% of the people respond back to that with either photos or they'll, they'll respond back with, um, with uh, no, I'm good, thanks, can't wait to see you in, in a few minutes, those types of things. So you wanna make sure you have that automated follow-up for people that are just you know, not sure whether to, to go with you or not. And um, maybe you said, hey, we'll be out there in 30 minutes. And they're like, well, I expect you to be out here in 10 minutes, right? And they hang up the phone. And then all of a sudden they receive an automated text message back from you saying, hey, is there anything we missed on the call? We'd be happy to help you. We see it all the time if you put that in place that, you know, they're going to respond back. Yeah, hey, my address is this. Can you guys come out? You know, and then ultimately you want to be tracking all of your phone calls to a name, a job type, and a value, and and where that call came from. So was it Google Ads? Was it um, was it from a website? Was it from a business card? Was it from a radio or a postcard? All of those should have different tracking numbers so that you can track the ROI and effectiveness of that that campaign. So now let's get to the meat of this, where I'm super excited to let you know about what work. What is going to be working in 2024? We spent a lot of time putting together our strategies and can you continue to do that. And we always improve them on that each and every year. We're always investing in um, new resources and new training and new ways of looking at things in order to get the best results for our clients. I'm going to share that with you right here. So we've got two buckets, right? And there's a free tra traffic bucket and then there's a paid traffic bucket. Okay, so we're going to break down each one of them and what is working going into 2024 for each one of them. So let's talk about the free traffic in 2024. You think, oh, what's free? Nothing's free nowadays, right? You got to put in effort, but I'm, I'm talking about paid ads, paid ads traffic versus, versus organic or um, referral based or anything like that, right? So the free traffic that you get. So for the free traffic side of things in 2024, what you're going to be focused on on your website and your Google Maps section, and then the, you'll see down below there, there's five other buckets that are YouTube, Bing, Apple, Yelp, and social media, okay? The biggest two buckets are your website and your Google Maps, right, on free traffic. You want to make sure you're focused on both of those. I'm going to talk about many of these on the next few slides here. So a new player to the game is going to be Apple in 2024. They're going to be creating a competitor to Google Maps, and they've already created it, but it's, it's, uh, it's newer, and we're setting it up for clients. But at the end of the day, we've always had Apple Maps, but they're going to have Apple Business Maps, very similar to Google Business Profile. It's going to be an Apple Business Profile. All right, so let's talk about your website. Your website is really the hub of your online presence. It needs to be branded to your business. It needs to be mobile friendly. You need to secure it, make sure it's fast loading. It has to be optimized to generate phone calls. If you'll see here at this Apex website here, how many times do you see that phone number automatically to the right? That's where your eye goes as a human. It goes to the top and to the right. Um, and, and we know that because we've done tracking on this and, and seeing where people's mouses go, right? So they always go to the top, to the right for a phone number, and you want to have that listed in multiple spaces. And as you scroll down, you want to make sure that phone number stays across the top as you scroll down the page, because if they see something on the page, you want to make it super easy for them to call you. Same thing for mobile. That phone number needs to stay at the top, always at the top. On your website, you need to have a page for every single service that you offer. You can't just have one page and then list all your services out on there. Nowadays, that's not enough in Google's eyes. 
Google is looking for you to be an expert, right? And so you need to have a page for every service. You need to have a page for every location within your area that you service. You need to also be doing helpful content on a monthly basis. And the same thing holds true for your website or for any landing page. You need to have it optimized correctly for all of these things. So here's an example of a typical website, sort of give me a, a general layout of how you would set this up. So again, your logo is always on the top left, your phone number is on the top right. As you scroll down, that phone number is always up there, whether it's mobile or desktop. You want to have a call to action in the middle there. So um, that call to action is something that, you know, hey, get a free, get a free quote or contact us 24 seven. Those sort of things, you need to have trust signals. So are you IICR certified? Are, do you have a RIA certification, Better Business Bureau, Google reviews, all of those things. You have a contact form, you need to have testimonials. And that's the basics on your home on your homepage. On your service pages, you need to have many of those elements as well, but also include video on there, include images, include testimonials, include frequently asked questions on those service pages. And location pages <clears throat> need to be optimized um, about all of the services you provide in a specific location. You need to include a map for that location. You need to include images, important information about that location and, and all the services that you provide in that location. These are the three key components that you need to have on your website. Hopefully that makes sense. For a free traffic standpoint, you also need to be doing monthly content. Google released an update late 2022 and into 2023 and still very, very relevant now and is what everything is so focused on from an online perspective is Google wants people to come to Google for solutions. And then in order to be recommended by Google, you have to be providing solutions, right? And so Google wants people to come back, come, keep coming back to Google, right? And so if you are providing solutions to these problems, you are going to be recommended by Google over your competitors who are not providing solutions. And you do that in the form of helpful content. So you do blog posts, you do case studies, you do press releases, you have service pages for every single service that you offer, location pages, you have frequently asked questions, you're doing some online link building to directories. You can see there on the screen that there are many directories, but we submit to around 150 and then as you continue to grow to 300 to 400 and 450 directories online so that your brand presence just gets expanded across the entire internet. So here's some example blog post topics that um, you can be you can be posting about and you want to make sure that these are are relevant and relevant to your ind industry. And when you post that content that the title represents that uh, helpful content piece and then links back to a service that you provide us or service page that you provide, right? Let's talk about branded videos. So be proud of the work that you do and show off the work that you do. Every single one of the services that you have, you should have a video of your team doing the work and of before and after images of, of work that you've done. So when you go to a page on your website, or if you go to social media, or if you go to YouTube, you have a page about water damage restoration. Or if you're a roofing company, you, you also provide roofing services. You have a page about roofing. Um, you do storm damage restoration. You have a page about that. And a branded video is the best way because people will watch a video way more than they'll read, a, read anything, right? And so it's just another signal. If you put these videos on YouTube and then put them into your website, it's, it's, it's a game changer. It's something your competition is not doing and you should be doing in 2024. You should also be doing before and after case studies, right? So take a video of before, take a video after. You're doing this for insurance purposes anyway, so you might as well turn that into a branded asset online. You should be getting testimonial videos from your clients. So after the job is completed, have you asked them for a review? Better yet, did you ask them for a video testimonial? That's when it's key. So you set up a video testimonial, you set up a case study, and you turn this into a blog post online, you're hitting all three areas, and then you ask them for a Google review, man, you're way above your competition then, okay? You also wanna be doing photos of your team and your offices, and making sure you're sharing information about your business on a regular basis. You need to be doing social media. So with social media, 
this is an area that everybody asks me, so if I start doing social media, am I going to blow up? And I'm like, am I going to get a bunch more phone calls? At the end of the day, social media is about brand presence and a brand awareness when somebody needs your help. Okay. And so you can promote weekly, you can do weekly postings about your services, about your brand, about, <coughs> excuse me, about the services you're offering, about the reviews that you're getting, about the case studies of the work that you've done and the locations you're doing that work in. That's what you want to use social media for, is to be top of mind, top of presence when somebody could potentially need your services or maybe somebody sees your, your post and they know somebody else that needs your services, right? So that's what social media is for in emergency services. That's pretty much what it's, what it's all for is brand awareness. Let's talk about Google Maps, okay? This is one that you could lead with on this conversation here. But I led with the website because that is really the hub of everything. Now, your Google Maps is where you're going to get most of the phone calls, but they work interchangeably. They, they work together, right? So you need to have a Google Maps presence. Here you can see a grid. These are dots, GPS dots around an area for one of our clients where they're showing up one, two, and three for the vast majority of all of the areas around them, right? So who's going who's gonna to get the phone call when, when people search? It's this client because they're going to, they're, they're showing up every place, right? Where the population is, where homeowners are at, right? And so it's going to help you generate more phone calls. It's becoming more and more difficult to show up in a vast area like this here um, outside of your immediate office. But if you get everything that I talked about before with your website right, you can create these sort of grids here. Now, it's a lot of work to do that, but when you do get it right, you're going to you're going to have this green grid here for your business. In order to get started with Google Maps, you want to make sure everything is uniform. Your name, address, phone number. Whatever is on Google Maps, you want to make sure that it's on your website, on all your branded content, such as YouTube videos and content posting as well. You want to be getting reviews. Reviews are a key signal in 2024 and 2023 and will help you get these green grids like this, okay? You wanna be posting photos of your work, photos of your team, photos of the office, your trucks, those types of things. Um, your posts need to be, um, Google allows you to put, put posts out there. You wanna make sure you, you're posting your services, your locations that you're doing your services in, your case studies and your YouTube videos. Make sure you link to those, okay? Um, connect to all your social medias. Google released in late 2023 the ability for you to link all your social profiles to your Google Maps location. If Google's asking you to do it, do it. Do it. Make sure you complete everything on your Google Maps setup because you will get more phone calls. Now, let's talk about paid traffic in 2024. All right, paid traffic, Google Ads, Google LSA are the two big sources of traffic. They're the, the most prominent sources of traffic out there, but there's other sources of traffic on the paid ad side, Facebook, Instagram, Bing, Yelp, and YouTube. So we're going to talk about the big ones here and what you should be focusing on for 2024. Google Guaranteed is by far going to be the best ROI return on your investment in 2024. If you do not have a Google Guaranteed, or it's also called Google Local Service Ads set up, I highly, highly recommend you do that. Okay. What you need to do for the application process is you need to have a certificate of insurance showing you have liability um, coverage of a million dollars. You need to have an IICRC firm level certification. If you do ad additional work outside of um, water damage restoration, such so as roofing or home remodeling, you need to have a contractor license as well. You need to have a background check done. It's just a general background check to make sure you're a legit person. And then you need to have a Google business profile, which we talked about earlier, and you need to have three to five reviews on that profile. Okay. So um, once you get that done and you go through the certification and application process, then you have to set up everything. So you add your business bio information in there. You add your website, you select the services that you're providing. You add the locations that you're providing and then you set a budget. This is something where I'm going to give you a tip here, set your budget high. Okay, because you're not going to use all that budget most likely, especially at it when you're starting out, but set that budget high. You want to make sure you're doing lead disputing. So when you actually get um, phone calls coming in, and if the great thing about Google Guaranteed is if somebody calls in about a service that you don't provide, then you can dispute it. 
as long as you say on the phone, as long as you say on the phone, sorry, I had to pause there because this is a stipulation here. As long as you say on the phone, I'm sorry, that's not a service that we can help you with. Um, you can dispute that call and you won't get charged for it. Now, um, you also want to make sure that calls that are legit that come in, you want to move them along the next stage, which is called booked within Google Guaranteed. And then if, if even if you don't get the job, you want to move it to booked, okay? Because Google's going to charge you for it anyway. You just want to move it along that stage. We, we do all this for our clients, but um, this will help you get a better return. And it's feeding, big, uh, it's feeding uh, Google feedback back. You want to make sure that you dispute bad calls. You want to mark good calls as booked. And then if you actually got the job, you want to mark that as that you got the job. Okay, there's three stages of that, technically four stages, beginning or active new new stage, disputed if it's not real, um, market is booked, and then market is won. Okay, you want to be managing your budget. Make sure your budget is set high in there. Normally, as high as you can get it, all right? The ongoing optimizations of this is adding photos, making sure you're getting reviews, and moving the those leads along the pipeline of booked and, and won jobs. So that's Google Local Services, Google Guaranteed in 2024. Google Ads, okay. Google is still the king. That's where 90, 95% of all the searches are gonna come from. So you wanna make sure that you're doing dedicated geo-specific campaigns if you're running Google Ads. If you look into your ads on Google Ads and you have one campaign set and you're in a large metropolitan area, I guarantee you, you're gonna be losing out on Conversions, you're going to be costing you a lot of money, so you want to have geo-specific campaigns. So let's say you're in Chicago. You want to have a campaign for Chicago, but you also want to have a campaign maybe for Naperville. You want to have a campaign for the south side of Chicago, north side of Chicago, and suburb, big, bigger suburbs um, that are there, right? So you also want to make sure you're focused mo mainly on mobile. Maybe, uh, and I can't um, stress this enough, mobile is where it's at because people will not do the research on a desktop, they'll do it on the phone. So focus on mobile. Eliminate ad spend on expensive keywords and poorly optimized PPC campaigns. What does that mean? Negative keyword list. Making sure that you have a lot of negative keywords. I believe our negative keyword list is around 3,000. So this is what we've accumulated over time to block people from clicking on ads that we don't want them to show up for. And so that is cr super critical. Next thing, you want to make sure your landing page is mobile friendly and optimized for mobile side of things, okay? And you, if, you, if you're running water damage and you're running mold and you're doing fire damage, you want to have different landing pages for each one, but you also want to have a different landing page for each city. So you can see here on this landing page, it says water damage cleanup restoration services in Austin, Texas, right? So this is specific to Austin, Texas. Now, if I'm outside of Austin, Texas, I want to show that I'm in that area. If that client is in Round Rock, I want to have that um, show Round Rock there, okay? You also want to make sure that you have a dedicated tracking number to track your return on investment on Google Ads. Google doesn't always report conversions back, but if somebody calls that number, you know it's coming from a Google Ads or you know it's coming from a, a paid ads landing page. Never, ever send Google Ads traffic to your main website. Always set up a dedicated landing page that's super specific to what you're providing there, okay? Um, and, and does not have, have all the pages that you would have on your landing page because people get lost. You wanna make it very specific for the ad type that you're running. And I can see in 2024 that what happened in 2023 is gonna continue in 2024, that you it's gonna be expre extremely expensive in order to compete on Google Ads, and um, that's only going to get worse in 2024. But if you set up your campaign to be optimized, like what I'm telling you here, you're going to have success. Facebook Ads. Facebook Ads, you might be asking, why would I run Facebook Ads for, for um, my emergency water damage restoration business? Well, why you would want to run it is you want to run it for brand awareness. So you can see here three different posts here of uh, a brand awareness campaign for um, a specific company here, Prime Restoration in Utah. And these campaigns, what they do is they increase your brand awareness within your local area because you never know when somebody's going to need your services. 
These are relatively cost expensive, um, cost effective campaign that you spend maybe $15 a day on. And it's going to see thousands of people are going to see this. You can see here that 265 likes, 16 shares. These are, these are traffic that you do not have to pay for. And, uh, or that, that these are these shares and these likes and comments and everything like that, that, that ultimately are going to get the visibility of people in your area. Okay. You want to be testing different creatives across these ads, whether it's your team, whether it's job photos, whether it's your trucks, you want to be testing these. Um, and again, it's going to help you increase your brand awareness. This is not a major source of phone calls for our water damage restoration clients, but if you're doing remodeling or home remodeling, kitchen and bath remodeling, you're doing mold or roofing, these Facebook ads can be very effective for generating leads. Water damage side, I wouldn't, wouldn't count on it. I'd, I'd focus on brand awareness for that. So what have we covered so far? We've done an introduction, talked about common issues. We've talked about th our three-step process that we recommend for um, att um, attracting, capturing, and engaging. We talked about what works in 2024 with free traffic and paid traffic. Now let's talk about our goals and our projects. This is where I don't want to lose you here, okay? Don't want to lose you on this on this webinar. I want you to, to really focus in on the goals and projects that are going to get you to where you want to be in 2024. So as this picture states, um, goal, plan, action. Goal, plan, action. Let's keep that in mind. Goal, plan, action, okay? Whenever we're doing anything, whether it's our 2024, 2024 goals, whether it's anything in life, you always want to set a goal, then create a plan, and then take action, right? Okay? So don't. here's one of the quotes that I like here. Setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible to the visible. Tony Robbins, okay? It's a great quote. Turning the invisible to the visible, right? So you got to set the goal in order to create the plan. All right, so let's talk about goal setting framework. This is what I like to use um, for a goal setting framework. You need to have written goals and written plans. So we're gonna talk about that there. We're gonna have a one year goal, we're gonna have quarterly goals, monthly goals, and you need to review these results on a regular basis. You need to review them on a monthly basis, a quarterly basis, and a yearly basis. And finally, do not forget to set rewards and consequences for meeting or missing these goals. This is a key, key, key component. So if you hit your goals, take your family out to dinner, say, hey, we, we hit our goals for this month and I want to share this with you and this is, this is why we hit these goals. It sounds like, oh, wh why would I do that, right? But you, wanna, you want to celebrate your goals that you hit and you want to have consequences. Did you, what was your consequence? Uh, I got to sign up for a four, 5K or something like that. Or I've got to donate something to the opposite political party, right? Um, set those consequences, something that's going to hurt so that you're constantly striving for those goals. So let's talk about your goals for 2024. There's four main components I want to have you look at here. Okay. And this is mainly based on revenue. Okay. This is mainly based on revenue right now. And then we're going to get a plan of action to get these targets. Okay. So in 2024, what is your re rev yearly revenue goal target? So go ahead and write that down. What is your monthly target revenue? So you're going to take that yearly revenue divided by 12, ideally, right? And you're going to get your monthly target revenue. What is the average transaction value? So each one of those, you want to set an average transaction value. Um, so that way you can, you know, for water damage, water damage, you want to make sure you have uh, an average transactional value. Go ahead and put it in the middle somewhere around there. Um, and, and, and don't, don't gauge too high. Don't gauge too low, somewhere around in the middle side, whatever is your primary service. And then how many jobs are required to achieve that target? So you want to do some math here. Now I'll show you an example of what that looks like. So if you want to hit 1.5 million, you need to have an average monthly revenue of 125 K. What is your average sales volume? Let's say it's in the water damage. I'm just doing mitigation. So 3,500 to 6,000. So I need on the low end, 30, uh, if, if, if the target is 3,500 per job, I need 35 jobs in order to hit the 125K, which is going to get me to 1.5 million at the end of the year. 
on the, if I have an average job transaction. So if I'm charging more for the job at 6,000, I only need 20 to get to 125K per month, 1.5 for the year. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So let's write down those targets and make sure those are realistic targets. If you're at 500K and you set a target at 3 million, is that a realistic target? It could be for some people, but if, if you're, you want to make sure you're setting a realistic target, set a stretch target too if you need to. Okay. So if you stay until the end, I'm going to give you a budget planner here. I'm going to give you a link where you can calculate all of this out and do all the math for you. So you, here, here you can see another example. This is a $2 million annual revenue goal, monthly revenue target of 167K or 166-ish K, right? And the average ticket value of 4,500. Um, how many calls would be required to hit this goal? You need 37. And that's because you have, uh, you need, you need to be out on 37 jobs in order to hit that goal, right? Um, again, 4,500 is sort of on the low end of we, where we see average ticket value for a small mitiga mitigation job, but that would be 37 jobs out there. Some of them are going to be more, some of them are going to be less, right? And that's an average conversion rate of 60%. Most of the time we see this higher if you're answering the phone, being helpful and getting that, um, getting that 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 call that trust from that caller um, if it was at 60 percent you need 62 calls per month in order to get those 37 jobs at 4500 to get two million dollars in revenue right so that you can play around with the numbers here and this will give you an estimate on on things and the average cost per lead generated here this calculator will show you that you're going to pay 180 dollars or you need to be investing on all your marketing services around eleven thousand dollars per month in order to generate that. So this shows you an example of how to do that. I've got a plug and play um, calculator that you can plug all these numbers in. And I'm going to give that to you at the end of this webinar. All right. So now the next step here is plan projects for 2024. A goal without a plan is just a wish. Okay. You want to turn that uh, goal into a plan. All right, so let's talk about free traffic projects, okay? These are projects that we talked about pre previously about free traffic. These are some questions that will help you, you know, focus on the projects going into 2024 and things that you need to accomplish, whether you're doing them or your team's doing them. So let's just run through them here. Is your website set up to convert visitors for phone calls? Test your website on mobile, test it on on, on, um, on desktop, scroll all over the place. Does your phone number always stay there? Does your website speak to the target market or the target uh, um, client that you're trying to attract? When you pull up your website, do you mainly want to do damage restoration services and your website talks about home remodeling? Well, that's a problem, right? Do you mainly want to do home remodeling and your website talks about installing a floor? That's a problem. So make sure it speaks to the actual target audience, or target client that you're trying to get after. Does it address fears and frustrations um, you know, when they actually hit your website? Are you putting in trust signals in there? Are there authentic images of your team there on your homepage and throughout your website? Does it include video elements? Does your, do, are you doing videos for your services? Do your videos uh, explain why someone would contact you over your competition? I'm just generating some ideas here of things that you want to focus on. Do you showcase your reviews on your websites or your Facebook reviews and Google reviews? Do you have your certifications listed on your website or any associations that you belong to? Is your Google Maps optimized? I talked about before about name, address, phone number, and all of those elements for that. And are you posting on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, X, TikTok, those types of things? So those are some ideas on free projects um, or free traffic that you can generate and projects that you can work on. So what I want you, want you to do right now is write down three of them and three of the top ones that you think are most relevant for you. And then who is going to help you with those? Because you can't do everything. You're, you're building your business, right? You can't do everything. But if you have a team, who's going to help you accomplish those? Or if you're going to hire somebody to, to do that. So you can write that down, those three projects, three initiatives, and whether you're going to hire somebody or whether 
uh, somebody on our team is going to do it. So now let's go to the next thing, paid traffic projects. So what are we going to focus on paid, paid traffic? Google Local Services, if you don't have that set up, you absolutely need to be set up for Google Guaranteed slash Google Local Service Ads. I talked to you before about that certification process and all of those things that you need to do for that. Google Ads search campaigns, are you running those campaigns? Do you feel like you're getting the best out of what you're doing now? If not, you need to make a change and you need to make that a priority. Are you testing Bing search ads in your area? Are you running Facebook brand awareness campaigns? If you are providing services like roofing or home remodeling, are you running Facebook lead campaigns? Do not do this for water damage. You're not going to get anything out of this, okay? So focus on the Facebook lead generation campaigns, which is different than brand awareness, would focus on everything except water damage, okay? You can also run YouTube brand awareness campaigns as well. So now let's write on our paid traffic projects. What three initiatives are we going to be focused on for paid ads projects? Go ahead and write those down and then who on your team or externally is going to help you with those, um, whether you're running it uh, internally or externally. Go and write those three projects down right there and who's going to help you. So now it's time to take action. Okay. So you wrote down your projects from your free traffic to your paid traffic. And I like this quote here from Thomas Jefferson, never put off tomorrow what you can do today. Okay. Very, very love that quote. Um, so if you need help with any of these things, I can let you know that we've helped over a hundred clients and I would be more than happy to have a call with you if you need some help with it. Okay. There's no obligation for that, but ultimately I'm going to show you three clients that have gotten amazing results with us. Here's a client prime restoration. They're doing, using all of our services, all of these things that we talked about. Here's some of their volume, 35 positions, number one across Google, 909 phone calls, 40 leads plus per month. And this client's been with us for over three years. They had a challenge here that they were moving from a franchise model to an independent model. And we were able to help execute that for them. And now three years later, this is the numbers that they're getting from internet marketing. Here's another client. This client has been with us for five years, ABC environmental contracting. They do all of the services that, that we're recommending to be running 2024. And this was a small company. They, um, they have now three locations with us, been with us for over five years. Um, they have 47 number one positions for their company and leads in the last year, 991. And it, on average, they're generating 83 leads per month through the services that we provide. This company here, Pride Cleaning Restoration, was one of our first clients. They've been with us, with us over five years. I think it's like six, almost seven years now. So I probably need to update the slide here. But over the last year, they had, they had, you know, when they started with us, they were struggling with on, on all fronts here, but they've been an amazing client to work with. And um, we've generated over 1,500 leads for this company in the time that we've worked with them. And this year, they were able to, with our services, they were able to generate a $2.3 million project um, in 2023. It was around the spring. They had a, uh, there was a 60 unit condo. Uh, they had a con, they had a pipe that was installed that, that the, they didn't let the glue set on this new condo, right? And Jim, the owner, got a call at 2.30, 2.30 in the morning, I believe is what he got the call uh, from somebody that searched his, for services online, came to, to his website, called him, and he got a $2.3 million mitigation job out of that. Amazing. They're going to be a $10 million company this year. If you decide to work with us, you would have a whole team behind you. We, part, we, we act as partners, not just some service out there. So this is a little sampling of our team here. Um, and if you want to take advantage of that, schedule a 15-minute call, um, and we can help you accomplish those goals. And if you do, if you want to do that, you can go to restorationmarketing.com slash calendar, or you can call 314-582-5210 and get an appointment set with us in order to talk with that. So as I promised you, I'm going to give you all the resources 
you're going to have this video to look at and, and watch again. And you're going to get a free copy of my book. You're also going to get those three resources that I talked about, 14 keys to your marketing success online, keywords that we use for water, mold, and fire, um, and also the advanced on-page SEO strategies. And that bonus that I didn't even show on here was that calculator are all going to be available when you go to restorationmarketing.com slash 2024. Again, my name is Sean McMean. Thank you so much for watching this webinar and video. If you do want to schedule a call with me to help you accomplish your goals and put that plan into action for you, go ahead and give us a call at 314-582-5210 or visit us at restorationmarketing.com slash calendar.